And because of the pandemic, many people are in debt, perhaps even for the first time ever. And here to talk about what they can do to manage their debt is bankruptcy and commercial litigation attorney Eric Steiner. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on. Oh, you're so welcome. People are facing everything right now from failure to pay their mortgages and their rent to their car payments, you name it. Absolutely. Because of the pandemic, the loss of jobs, fear of contracting the virus and social distancing, certainly um, so many people are out of work. So many businesses have had to close. It's a very, very difficult time for, for our country right now. What's the number one thing you're advising people to do right now? So the best thing to do is get on top of the debt that you have. If you uh, pay a mortgage, reach out to your lender and see if you can get a forbearance, which is a, a six month period where you don't have to make those payments and just get on top of everything. Be proactive about it. You can uh, also call your, your credit card companies and see if they can defer some payments. Same thing with uh, people who don't own a home. If they're renting, they can call their landlords just try to get ahead of it, try to start that dialogue. And that's really the most important thing. So you have a really good understanding of exactly um, where things stand. On the flip side, on the landlord's point of view, they have bills to pay too. So what are you recommending for them? Absolutely. So there's a lot of legislation, both at the state and federal level, that has hampered landlords' ability to evict and lenders' ability to foreclose. So lender, those landlords, they also have to talk to their lenders. Landlords have mortgages too, and they have to work out work out some sort of arrangement with their landlords, uh, as well as their tenants. To to and we've helped several clients with, with with that kind of issue actually. Now I imagine that you're also advising people. Let's say they have a credit card bill and they're not able to get any sort of deferment. Pay what you can, otherwise you'll be penalized and have even more money on top of that. Absolutely. I mean, when you're looking at credit card debt. That should be the lowest priority. Certainly paying rent, getting food on the table, supporting your family is the most important thing. And unfortunately, credit card debt, when we're looking at the priority of debt and bankruptcy, credit card debt typically falls all the way at the bottom. But it doesn't hurt to call those credit card companies, at least let them know, and, and maybe they'll be able to, to work with you. And this is such a scary time for so many people right now, for sure. But if some people do have the ability to save money, you want them to do that. Absolutely. It's always good to have three months of living expenses in case of emergencies. Certainly, we're, we're now in a very prolonged emergency. It's been nine months. Who knows how long it's going to go on? Um, but and the legislation, the these stays on evictions, the additional unemployment, unemployment benefits, those will eventually run out. And what's going to happen when, when when that happens? So that's what if you can save some money right now and put it away, put it away to investments or retirement, certainly that would be a good idea. All right, Eric Steiner, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you, you too. You're